kids. Welcome back. Today is week 22, day five. That's right, day five. We made it to the end of the week. And our highlight verse is Joel 1, 2 through 3. We've read through a lot of the Bible this week. We've read in Jonah. We, we've read in Jonah. We've read in Hosea. We've read in Amos. And now today we're in Joel. So keep up the great work. I'm super proud of you. Let's look at Joel 1, 2 through 3 in our King James Version first. Hear this, ye old men, and give ear, all ye inhabitants of the land. Hath this been in your days, or even in the days of your fathers? Tell ye your children of it, and let your children tell their children, and their children another generation. Now let's look at it in the NIRV version. Elders, listen to me. Pay attention, all you who live in the land. Has anything like this ever happened in your whole life? Did it ever happen to your people who lived long ago? Tell your children about it. Let them tell their children and let their children tell it to those who live after them. This is the word of the Lord. Let us give him thanks and praise. Amen. So what does all of that mean? Let's look in our explain section in our book. It says, Joel was a prophet of God. Joel was sent by God to tell the people to repent. What is a prophet? A prophet is somebody sent by God to tell the message that he wants them to tell to that particular people. And what is repent? Repent means to ask God for forgiveness and to turn from what you've been doing that was wrong, not to do it anymore. Okay. So God sent locusts and a drought against the people of Judah to get their attention so they would listen to him. If God sent a bunch of locusts and a drought to you, what's locusts? All them bugs, like big grasshoppers jumping around, those are locusts. And if God sends them, he's not just sending one, right? He sent a lot of locusts. And it says he sent a drought. What is a drought? When we don't have water and we're thirsty, we're in our vegetables, our plants can't get water, then we're in a drought. And that makes us very sad because we're really thirsty. We can't make our food without water and we can't grow our vegetables without water. So the people get sick and they'll die. So it says that God sent these things to get their attention, to get whose attention? The people of Judah. And why? So they would listen to him. All right, Joel wanted the people to follow God again. Who's Joel? The prophet. Joel wanted the people to follow God again, or everyone would lose their harvest and their joy. All right. So how do we apply this to our life? It says God does not give up on us when we disobey. He wants us to ask for forgiveness when we do not obey him. And then we have an application in your book. I'll have it up on the screen. And it says to match the locusts and their words to discover the message. Okay, so there's a hidden message in here. And you'll see the different types of locusts, which are like giant grasshoppers or just grasshoppers. And um, they each have a word with them. You have to match the, the image that looks the same and put the word in the space. Okay. And I'll put mine up here. So you can see, here's my answer. And that says, God forgives me when I ask. All right, great job. Let's respond in prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you for not giving up on me and forgiving me when I ask. 
In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Now it's time for our memory verse. John eleven twenty five, 25, King James Version says, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Now let's look at that in the NIRV version. John eleven twenty five, 25. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live, even if they die. John eleven twenty five. 25. This is the word of the Lord. Let us give him thanks and praise. Amen.